Hello, 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 and today, a uh, Anupam Chopra is back. Anupam Chopra. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, wrong person. She shut down Film Companion. Yep, but mm. she's still being a companion of films. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but this is the, and uh, now she's with the Hollywood Reporter India. Uh, and the new roundtable dropped just yesterday with a lot of people. We got. Um, I like that she's, that this is uh, the Hollywood rep Reporter in India representing yeah. with her. That's awesome. Um, so this is a, a panel with, um, it's a what? A panel. A panel. With Pa Ranjith and, uh, say this name. Vetri Maran. Who did, um, um, a shoot on with, uh, Danush and mm. also that part one and part two, the part two is coming out later this year of, uh, with, it has VJ Sethupathi in it and, um, we watched it last Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The big one shot. Yep, yep. That's this director. Yeah, the one that we don't remember the name of. Uh, yeah, Vet, that's him. And then it also has Karan Johar, Zoya Akhtar. A ghost! Yes. And uh, and uh, this gentleman right here as the well. The multifaceted Mahesh Narayanan. Yes. Who did uh, See You Soon. Um, uh, that other a couple Danu of other Fafa ones. Yeah, Danush one. Um, he, we've seen quite a few of his films. Oh, oh, I think he also did the one um, where he was trapped, I think. I think he was, that was also him. Where he was trapped. Where Fafa was trapped. Fafa was yeah. trapped. Um, so uh, we're familiar with all these directors, uh, all very good directors in their own industries. Uh, and uh, do you know? Did this drop just like a, just yesterday? Oh, this so was uh, this is our first thing since uh, she's. But my suspicion is it was filmed before the announcement of international. Yeah, Oscar. yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Because they got to edit everything. Hey, hey. But here we go. Talking about actors here. So they also want to collaborate with directors who make different kind of films. Yes. Sir. But they pick up different kind of, like, you know, directors who make different kind of films to make their kind of films. Yeah. Whereas Rajinikanth, when he calls Ranjit, Rajinikanth wants to be part of the There isn't music Ranjit throughout the round table. No, it's not. How lovely. This not is just Ranjit. the answer. Ranjit. Ranjit. Ranjit wanting Ranjit to make a film for him. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So, that's a big difference. Yeah, that's that's the difference. I want, to, I want like, I want Vetri Mara to make a film for me. I chased and chased and chased and chased and chased and he just fell off the bed. I, 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 Welcome to Off Script with The Hollywood Reporter, India. I'm your host, Anupama Chopra, and we're here at the newly unveiled Grand Sangam Ballroom at the JW Marriott, Juhu, Mumbai. Cinema is a director's medium, and I'm thrilled that for the first THR India Roundtable... Can you prove that it's a director's medium? Five yep, just look at my pants. ...from all across the country. Their storytelling huh? has shaped Indian film. From Tamil cinema, the incomparable Vetri Maran and Pa Ranjit. From Hindi cinema, the game changers, Karan Johar and Zoya Akhtar. And from Malayalam cinema, the multitasking director, writer, editor, cinematographer, Mahesh Narayanan. Everyone Welcome, of them, everyone. I, think, I am has so seen thrilled review of to be ours. sitting here with I think, some of my favorite I think that's storytellers. True. I think everyone has that's seen some a of the best we, storytellers I think you're right. in this country. Um, and I also feel like it's a very opportune time for us to be sitting here because as we do, history is being made. Uh, I'm speaking, of course, about the Justice Hema Committee report. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it's an ongoing story. There's revelations every day. There's developments every day. But I just want to get us started by asking, what do we most want to see Happen. I love she's starting now. with that question. Because we all know. You're going to start with Zoya or you're going to start with the guy in the Malayalam industry? It's not just the Malayalam film industry. Whoever wants to talk about it. Yes. The rot that the report has revealed is true in varying degrees for industries across the country. There has to be massive changes in the system. What do you all want to see play out? Mahesh, can we start with you? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, I think I know uh, in Malayalam cinema, after this incident, which happened, uh, we all know about that. What actually happened is a lot of female 
uh, personals who are working in many streams, like let it be actors, let it be ADs, let it be any professional side, they have shown the guts to come out and like, you know, say, say against things. So I always feel that like, you know, you give a person a mask, the person will tell the truth. Anonymity is, is very important. So that's why this commission is so important because, you know, government had made a, a, a like, you know, in terms of, I should say, there's a failure from the government end where, you know, where they sat on the report for the last nearly four five years. Yeah, four, yeah. Nearly five years. So yeah. Holy crap. That should not have done it. Like, you know, that should be revealed. I didn't know that. Before, yeah. like, it, it should come out. It should come out. And wow. what should be required, it's, it's about, like, what are the next steps? Like, it's not about a, a, a report coming up. It's not about my set. It's not about, it's about our environment, how we should make that environment. So in that, more than, like, you know, more than uh, sexual allegations, there are, like, you know, work conditions, like, you know, treatment, how you treat women. Like, there are many things involved in that report. So you have, now, now it's, 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 it's high time, actually, like, you know, people in Malayalam cinema, I, 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 I really think people in Malayalam cinema should come up all in solidarity saying that okay this is like you know there is a there is something which ha we have to be done it's not about all the associations blaming each other like you know one will say that okay not it's not my problem it's, it's the other guy's problem they, then they will say okay it's the government's problem look who who is answering who is answerable to all these people so the, the resolution is a, is a required part i think some culmination has to be there like you know in cinema we write a climax right there should be something like you know whether it's a happy ending or a, like you know sad ending that doesn't matter but there should be a a, a needed uh, like resolution so that's what we are aiming at uh, what like, but Mahesh, what for the rest of you what are the resolutions we want out of this right, like in an ideal world what should happen i think uh, firstly i think that these women need to be saluted uh, what they've done uh, the WCC, that they've come together for a colleague, they stood up and uh, they didn't back down with the, I mean, it, with the cost of safety to themselves, um, impact on their careers, mm -hmm. nothing mattered. And I hope that five years later, it still happened and it doesn't go to waste. Uh, I think this is not just about the Malayalam film industry. I think it's every industry right. and every workspace for women in this country. Yes. And uh, this shouldn't go to waste. This should open a larger conversation. And yeah, you want, you know, you want things to uh, be stringent, laws to be stringent, punishment, uh, justice to be swift. But I think what we really need is to open a conversation as to what is wrong with certain men. And why is this pervasive? And why do people feel this entitlement? And uh, where is that coming from? Mm -hmm. Where where are you getting this entitlement that you that women owe you something? I think that conversation Preach needs Zoya. to happen. This there needs to be a social change, and that can only happen if we talk mentality, mm -hmm. we talk nurturing, um, and we talk where education. It's starting from education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kar it's absolutely right. But I completely endorse what uh, Zoya said. It's really that. Unfortunately, traditionally, we are a patriarchal He's lost you know, society. And What's there up? is this, his face. this unfortunate... Maybe it's the black. And it's not just Slimming. in the Malayalam film industry or in the Hindu oh, it's the Kieran film industry. It's across all, all professions and all verticals. And it's like the first thing that needs to change is this sense of entitlement. Mm. What makes you feel you're superior? Who gave you that? And it actually really, strangely, goes down to your upbringing. It's really from the very beginning when I was raising a son and daughter, from the very onset, I had to change the way things were said in the house. Like, don't cry like a girl. Oh, you're a boy, you can do this. You're a girl, you shouldn't. It's just the thing. And because I have twins, a boy and a girl, it's like these things I have to start ingraining twins. from the very yes. beginning. Because I've heard this in so many homes across the world. It's not just in India, let me tell you, it's everywhere. Male entitlement is a disease. Yes, And it's everywhere. spreading. And you have to kind of curtail it with conversation and with constant addressing it. Like, I think the Me Too movement that started even in, in Hindi cinema, eventually, I think it got derailed. And, you know, maybe because, like we were discussing prior to the table, that there weren't any legal ramifications and repercussions. And as a result of yes. that, it just fell apart. I think with what's happening in the Malayalam film industry, this, this entire conversation has surfaced again. And I think it's for the best because it must, because it will therefore have accountability. I feel like you know, men across professions walking around doing what they want because there's no accountability. 
and there hasn't been any legal repercussions. There need to be and consequences, be, yes. And there are so many terrible crimes across the world and our country that are happening as a result of this entitlement. And we have to address it at a deeply rooted stage, like Zoya said. Like, it starts from education, it starts from nurturing, it starts from so much. Just, just conversation about, like, where is the superiority and why does it, this cycle has to stop eventually. Yeah, yeah. Which? So, uh, as they all said, it is not just in the film industry. Of course. And But yeah. as part of the industry, we need to address it, we need to talk about it. What I have sensed is, when a girl comes out to say that this happened to me, immediately, the victim becomes, again, like, you know, she is portrayed as the perpetrator. And then, suddenly, they start asking questions like, why didn't you tell then? Why, right. you, why are you telling so, after eight years? Yeah. Looking what at all the faults behind, of the victim. What is the motive right. behind telling after yeah. eight years? Yeah. This is such a bad, bad, bad uh, way of looking at things. When someone comes out and says that a guy did this to me, it, it, it could be me or, or anybody, then we as a society should take the side of the person who is coming up with that acquisition and not just say that okay this guy is uh, an established person so far he's been yeah, that's a the good, problem good guy to the see world. If address so power. we stand by him we defend him that's not the right way to do as a society as a world we need to stand by the woman who comes out and says that okay this guy has done this to me however big that person is he has the responsibility to either come and like defend himself or Prove plead otherwise. Guilty. Yeah, plead yeah. guilty. Yeah. And then whatever happens should happen. So that power should be with the women. And and it's yes. such a like sad and hurtful thing for people to say that why didn't you tell mm. earlier? Why didn't you tell then? Because and also that's a, one more very upsetting thing is how can it happen if she had not consented? What is consent? We need to teach them what consent is. When, when there is no equality, when one, one person is in a place where he can mm. change the life of this girl, then where is equality? Yeah. And where, 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 where is consent in, in like consideration there? Mm. So these things should change, I feel. Sanjeev, do you think things will change? Are you hopeful? Unfortunately, what you said, no. We are following uh, unethical things and like uh, we are like... Um, um, the discrimination and uh, we just following in our yeah. own family and yes. we just ha accepting all things. But we need to uh, um, we need to educate first of all. We, we don't have an education. Our education only uh, treat us like no. We we have a pride. We have a we all pride. We have a pride things that and this then. But what we practicing um, literally no. In the family, in like a relationship, in the friends and everywhere, no, we are like a, uh, we are in a hierarchy society. We believed you are high and I'm low, and like uh, this is what started started for for everyone. Like no, so adada inge nadanda trukada na ondu na nekira. So first time in Kerala film industry la idu ondu start panna idu ondu or bangerman or movementa na ondu paakra. And the movement ondu spread down ondu na nekira. In any form of um, discrimination, we need to against, we need to voice out. So, I start talking about this. Because if you have a film industry, there is a big question mark. And every work from works place, and like, no, um, a workspace is in the same way. Every workspace had a lot of problems and the women's uh, deal. You know, every time, every day, there are a lot of discrimination happened in any form of like one or uh, working class women. And I'm going to They're not addressing the right way. Now, low level voices, uh, they don't care about that. And the film industry is very popular. If you film industry, like very popular. voice spread out. But we need to care about all voice. We need to care about that. We need to address about that. That's the false question. That's the next level, actually. Uh, we are, first, we need to address it. We have to accept. Uh, we are um, continuously following, like, um, uh, the practice. 
பண்ணுறோம் இந்த டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷனை ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிகிட்டே இருக்கோம் நம்ம ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு அட்மிட் வி வி நீட் டு அட்மிட் வாட் வி ஆர் டூயிங் ரைட் நவ் ஸோ அதை நம்ம அட்மிட் பண்ணோம்னா வி ட்ரை டு எஜுகேட் வி ட்ரை டு கெட் சம்திங் நம்ம ஓரளவுக்கு வந்து அந்த சொல்யூஷன் நோக்கி நம்ம நகரலாம் அப்படின்னு நான் நினைக்கிறேன் லைக் வி கேன் வி கேன் ட்ரை டு மூவ் ஆன் Will you translate some of that? Yeah. See, uh, because film industry is in the limelight, we are talking about it. But oppression against women is happening at all levels. Yeah. Yes. We are shutting our ears mm. to a working woman's problem. So from an oppressed place, a woman, she faces the same issue. When she raises her voice, it's not heard. But whatever hap- happens in, is happening in uh, Kerala is a good movement. which might give us a solution and i think with that as a precedence we can move towards better solution and oppression is happening in all forms starting from home as he said so it is happening beginning at home and our education system is talking about your uh, caste pride clan pride language pride your region pride but it is not educating about equality that needs to change so that is where it comes from that's his thing super unga periya ali it's really to sum it up it's really the way we are raising the men in this country or any any part of the world it's like yeah. that has to change specifically let's address our nation and i'm like we just have to change the way we raise the boys and sons it's like has to happen it starts at that level it just has to be oh, yeah. that inequality that we talk about it begins there it right begins between your girl child and boy child and that has to change well i'm hopeful but but i think i think it is changing a bit like because my daughter and son they they have like the way they look at like yeah. even like you just say one small thing they're like that's a sexist comment yeah. like yeah. my my <laughs> yeah but it's <laughs> absolutely, absolutely right yeah. because well, I, i think this entire yeah. generation that is below the gen z yeah. generation yeah. Yeah. you're like, not going to change the parents as quickly as you can change yeah. the young people yeah. the kind of yeah. things that it's come to my seven year old children yeah. like they will look at me and just say because they some, their politics yeah. are so correct yes. and yes. bang on and i'm yes. proud of that it's amazing yeah. no but also i know it's very important as all of us are in the industry to enable work people are scared if they speak up they will lose work correct and what we yeah. can do is hire them enable work make sure people feel like you know what this is not going to be a deterrent i can speak up and other people won't stop working with me Keep i going, think Zoya. it's very key to do that because at the end of the day that's where you hit where it hurts right you start you ostracize someone from an industry they don't have work yeah. so it's it's uh, a very big deterrent it's yeah. very true because i often feel that this this internal committee like ic committee that committee who is forming the committee actually right. the committee is formed internally so committee has to be somebody who's external external mm-hmm. third party there has to be a lawyer inside. correct there has to be a police person inside so some, yeah, some my they, my, they not, my production has that committee okay. which okay. which yeah. is totally autonomous uh, of the production yeah yeah, yeah. good yeah. everybody anybody can file a complaint against that's, anybody ah uh, finally yeah. most i see most of our office we have all those all rules that's one of the i was waiting yes. for one of them yeah. to say that accountability yeah. within your workspace one of the great yes. things about a union is that they would they put these things in place yes. right <laughs> well hopefully hopefully we get there um i also want to get all of your takes on the current landscape right in She's the last few great months interviewer. uh i've heard a lot of chatter about at least in hindi cinema gloom and doom about the theatrical business ki it's a sunset industry uh, streaming funds have dried up uh, no big films are being launched or made um, i was speaking to silesh kapoor at omax he said that no, irrespective of the bigger titles that are now going to release in the next few months there's going to be a 10 to 20% drop for hindi box office between 2023 and 2024 uh, does any of this impact on the stories that you guys are working on now do no. you pay attention to it yeah first i think i need to clarify one thing here it's not the uh, theatrical box office that is failing it is the budget inflation created by the ott platforms that is failing now see like ott barged in they said like during the covid times like okay For, for one actor film like you know one rajinikanth film one vijay film we'll give 120 crores 100 crores you buy like we will make it then the budgets became bigger the salaries became bigger mm. and the, interesting point in a few months they realized that it is not the insider baseball knowledge yeah. for them 
for the OTT platforms. <laughs> Interesting. Now, they are saying, okay, we can't give it that much. We can't give that much. But the production, I mean, the filmmakers have gotten used to making yeah. bigger films. Bigger film, yeah. And it draws and them to OTT, not the theatrical release. got used to release. taking bigger salaries. What to do now? So, the problem is not with the... Again, again, I'm coming with another reference. There's a film that was released a couple of weeks ago called Vare in Tamil, Mari Selvaraj's film. It's a fantastic the, the film. The box office is staggering. Yeah. I would call Mari Selvaraj the biggest mainstream filmmaker in Tamil cinema today because with the new kids, like nobody known, only his name is the selling name. That didn't come the here, kind but of that's numbers one of the, the films I've told you done. about that. A lot yeah. of people say it's the best of the year. Yeah. In box office, it has taken... I mean, the lifetime number just in Tamil Nadu is going to be two times more than the overall budget of the film. So, box office, theatrical is there. Is there. Yeah. The only thing is, we need Story. to realign ourselves into going back to the same way of telling stories. There you Our go. Our stories within the budgets what the people will give us. The democracy of telling our stories the way we want to tell is directly addressing the theatrical audiences and not the OTT platforms. Yeah, true, OTT true. will have, OTT this year will have, okay, we're going to do like patriotic films. We will invest. This is apart from the big, big films. And also they have limitations. Yes. You know, they'll come yeah. limitation sensor. Ah. They have one sensor yes. to contain it. It's, like, it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like sensitivity tests they do, like, yeah. you know, correctness, political correctness. They don't want to show beef eating scenes yeah. nowadays. Very bad. Uh, yeah, that's that, because, that is happening here, and there uh, are so many limitations they come. With. No, this is like this. Com this community will get offended. This religion mm -hmm. will get offended. So please don't do it. So they are restricting. They used to be a good paymasters. When you are a like you know big paymaster, your demand is also more. Might as well. I will just yeah, stay yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Like you give me give me whatever least you can give. I will go to my people. Let's do like you know democratic business. We will try to get money from there. For which. We all have to recalibrate. We have to reduce your, our salaries by like, you know, at least by like 30%, 40%, you have to give up your salaries. Try to make films within the budget. And I think we are going to see a big boom and revival of theatrical uh, it's true. revenue. Really? That yes. would be no, I'm amazing. Adding, I'm adding something uh, with them. Um, so, uh, in cin uh, theaters, uh, theater only in a democratic space. Yeah. Not OTT. Like oh, before, yeah, we have a problem with uh, distributor and theater owners also. But uh, that is only a democratic, democratic place. Uh, compare that to OTT. OTT have a lot of limitation. You know that the one Nayantara movie, they, uh, ah, they took them all. It is, yeah, yes. it is the, not good, no. Censor, the theatrical, censor, you've got the censor board, so and it's theaters not run also democracy. Yeah. But uh, the, the OTT and big platform, they took it out. It is not good, right? Yeah. Well, it's just, like, it's just really saying, sad. They're censor on the OTTs. Uh, yeah, that's what he's saying. Now. He is. Yeah, I'm, they're starting to no, get no, their they hands on it. They took out eating beef in one of his right. films. Yeah. They, yeah. they clearly said, no, they um, the OTT, they don't have a um, censorship. Uh, they don't want to censor, but uh, they, they want but to. But they're doing it. You have to, what censor did, you have to did the, um, you have to give it that only we going to telecast. Otherwise, we don't want to telecast. Then after that, they telecast some movie. No, they took it out from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So but we know a director film, you know, who had yeah. changes yeah. made to his uh, film. Yeah. Um, and after, he didn't even know about like it. Like a 140 show. More than half the hall was full. Yeah. So people were there. No, this, yeah, week, yeah. this week the film is running in, uh, if I'm not wrong, 300 plus centers. Mm. Wow. Second week. First wow. week it was 190 centers. It's, a, it's the same thing with Malayalam cinema also. Like, mm -hmm. if you look at it, it's not, it's not about big stars. Like, you know, no. of his opening storytelling. Female boys, if you look yeah, now they're yeah. Yeah. You guys have had a great, yeah. great yeah. stories. Yeah. Malayalam. See, big, big star films are always there. See, they are always going to be sought after in OTTs yeah. and theatres. Yeah. We are talking about the next kind of films, like yeah. the, the, the alternative films or the, the heroes and directors who uh, can draw lesser audiences. That's what we're talking and about. Also, the OTT platform now started to buying and uh, small films, yeah. Yeah. especially you know, yeah. Yeah. the um, uh, film festival films, they, yeah. they say very correct words. We don't want to film festival kind of films and art house films and we uh, we not to buy, uh, <laughs> ready to buy now. Look at we face. only concerned about the big films. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what about you guys? Are you, you know, seeing... I, I'm, I'm just hearing everybody and I'm like, it's actually, it's not, a, unfortunately, like the situation is very divisive. 
like right now what a hindi cinema i'm just speaking about hindi cinema yeah, okay. that's where and i spoke about tamil cinema, tamil cinema. <laughs> 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 and you know, you know and you'll be and you'll be i'm actually happy to report that that whether it's in malayalam cinema and tamil cinema cinema yeah. hindi could learn from them too the space is wider for very very um, very very diverse content and you Correct. know there you can have a director that will take newcomers and there will be a massive opening on the face of the film and just on the theatrical trailer and the director's repertoire same in hollywood mm -hmm. hindi cinema is going through a massive situation we must talk about it yeah. mm -hmm. it's very important that we know that we in hindi cinema firstly we have a very polarizing audience our audience through states and within states through areas of that state like in bombay if you just say bombay is mumbai is mumbai maharashtra saurashtra karnataka is all part of the same Today, right? We call it the Mumbai territory. Delhi is Delhi, UP, Punjab, which is also Delhi NCR, and it goes into Gurugram. So, now what will work in Bombay right up to Juhu may not work from beyond Juhu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this has all happened post pandemic. Let me tell you, there was a certain film, that kind of sharp there division. Was, there was a film like Pink, and there was Nirja, mm -hmm. and there was Kapoor and Sons, and they and all worked. There was Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara that began this very multiplex, or that did over 90 crores of business. NBOC when it started, everyone, all the trade pundits were like, "This film is not going to make any money because it's about three people on a journey of finding themselves." That to a commercial audience seems like it's unheard of, and it did way beyond. It had a cast, but that kind of film today. I'm not sure how much money that film will do. I don't know what Kapoor and Sons did in 72 crores. Today it might do 35. Didn't 12 fail? Do like great money? Because that has reduced. What is the Not cinema too. going audience of a certain kind of film has now it has shrunk. In Hindi it is true, and yet you are either underperforming or overperforming. Yeah. That middle road cinema is completely vanishing, which is maybe yes. because it's not happening enough, and that is what is happening. Like any film you take, and it's no longer about the stars. Let me tell you, it's not it's because current you the have films are working. Darling, like that, yeah. if you see Stop Lapa the Ladies, what a yeah. fantastic film! Yeah. It did 18 to 20 crores NBOC, yeah. and it's a massive hit on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's big, but those people who are loving it on Netflix never came to watch it in the theaters. But mm. they did go for 12th fail. I understand what yes. you're saying, but yes, I'm but saying again, there are like the two best Hindi films of the year. 12th fail has a certain texture that is yeah. very commercial yeah. and rooted. But so is Lapa the Ladies. It's a great story. They're both great stories. It's got a fable. Yeah, like I had a quality film. Is so yeah. that he, one film he, he that actually the, went the back to the producer and the director had all the time? That kind of high content film and high concept content. Makes them really interesting to day. listen to, though. Twelfth Fail would have done 80 crores. I want to tell you, it it went at 50, 55 today. It would have done. I'm only talking numbers to tell you the math. So what's going on? Yeah, yeah like, I understand. But doesn't that have something to do with how much a ticket is costing? In, yes. So in our again, cities. so back to it's all come back to the it's come back to the fact that when I spoke to Ajay Vijli and you know I've spoken and I've done a deep dive because i'm a producer and you know mm -hmm. we run a production house and i'm also looking at numbers i'm like what's going on here and they're saying that there used to be film and cricket that used to be the two massive sources of entertainment post pandemic everybody wants the experience travel has increased hospitality has increased and people the average family in india does their math and say we'll watch they used to watch 6 to 8 films a year now they're watching yeah. two mm -hmm. so suddenly if it's a must go to film and they've seen the film before like what happened with three yeah Horror comedy Franchise, is the yeah. most popular genre across Hindi cinema. I can't say the others. Yeah. Horror yeah. comedy is the most popular genre. Yeah, like, really, horror comedy. Horror comedy is the number one. Yeah, actually, horror comedy is the number one, one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that was horror that. Is the number one genre. Yeah. Now we have grown to realize this. Hmm. Okay, hmm. Sri didn't even realize that it's going to go and become. It's going to possibly be the in archived history. Then it possibly will be, and it's still collecting. It's touching 500. It might be the number one collecting Hindi language film. And it 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 doesn't scream up, and the budget is a hundred crores. Yeah. You know, it is not crazy. Mm -hmm. It's not spent three hundred and four hundred. And look at the mass. And it's a heartland business of that film is crazy, but it's also cities are collecting. Mm -hmm. Heartland is collecting. It's a hard. It's a rooted film. So now everybody is like, is rooted content. It's not that you can't tell urban stories. Of course you can. But then all the actors. who are charging what they charge for the big multiverse film and they have to look at the way and everybody has to come and make a film together and make it happen we must tell all kinds of stories yeah. and hindi cinema is craving for all kinds of content that must be told but the thing is that those movies don't do the numbers and they collapse and then you're not like getting the ability to make that film because and no longer that we've seen that superstars 
are no longer a reason for a film to open in Karan, Hindi. They it's were opening, happened. they've got openings of two Everywhere. and three crores. I mean, this is Akshay Kumar's film, this yeah. is Ajay Devgan's film. But you and I have been talking about superstar yeah. salaries for I have been on, I've been on that 12th round table. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody has to look at their remuneration levels and they yeah. have to address, and I'm saying it for the 55th time. But <laughs> yeah. They need to stop but asking for so much money. To stop paying. We are not saying. Yeah, so I tell them. Why don't they ask for it? I don't pay anymore. I have said thank you very much. If it makes a certain amount, they get on the back end. Are you doing that? They've done that forever in Hollywood. I am not. Yeah, because they don't trust the storytelling in the box office. They want the money up front because they think it's going to fail, especially Akshay. How much have you opened? Yeah. With what right are you asking me for this number? What? And if you see any film, we all of us recently, every film. I mean, I produced a small film called Kill. I spent the money on that film because I was a high concept with a brand newcomer. Yeah. At the face of it. And a great story and it was well it. done. I'm like, I'm not going to, because every star we went to, because that was a high concept action film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could not make Kill in any other yeah. way because it had to be in that train. Absolutely. Every star asked me for the same money that the budget was for. I was like, how can I pay you when the budget is 40 crores? You're asking for 40 crores. Are you guaranteeing me that the film will do 120 crores? It's not, there's no guarantee, right? So I did, so finally I took a new boy. And, and it was, was such a, a good and, film. And he was yeah, an outsider, just do that. I have to say it. Exactly, yeah. like Zoya said, don't and pay call, them. I'll call it out for myself because just otherwise I'll be paying the consequences for this all my life. And I'm yeah. like, but not nobody has praised me, I want to tell you. They, they don't want to work when there's no work. Exactly. Who was an outsider <laughs> and not from an inside family, which I've been accused of from since time <laughs> immemorial. But anyway, I'm just saying that we have to, and I think, like Zoya will tell you, that Zoya has been creating some of the best content uh, films. Indeed. I think both Zoya and Farhan very importantly changed the language of films. Yeah. You know, yeah. Farhan did it in Dil Chata mm -hmm. and Zoya went on and did it with her stream of yeah. films. We need to see those films as well. We need to tell those stories that are about, like, you know, about diverse subjects with interesting syntaxes. I mean, that's the problem. Now everybody's like, oh, your film is not rooted, it's not mainstream commercial, it will not do the numbers, don't make it. Yeah. How can you stop making films? You have to tell all kinds of stories. Today, I met Shakun Batra, who directed Kapoor and Sons. He's traumatized because he's like, what do I do? How do I make a film that's going to get like the business at box office? I'm like, you do you. Yeah. You make what you need to. We'll make it work. So is this idea I, of I, you I do you, Hamid? Okay. See, uh, when you're saying that the film could have made 80, now it's made 55. 55 is a super number. Yes. Big hit. So I think we need to make those films within the budget and hold and bite the bullet for a while until the things like change says, instead yes. of saying that no no we can't make this film we will make the film within the budget where you break even there like right now break even little bit of yeah, money that's a win. is enough that's a and win yes rooted content if it's from the world from the people then the resonance is more and those kind of contents Hindi get could learn from more uh, Tamil and, uh, audiences. From the Bali Bali South and we cannot <laughs> say that this is the budget, this is the numbers, so we will not do it. And don't make the film. Yeah. Actually. That's yeah. not good. We, should, we should be doing those films and work on the numbers again and again. That's Rework the, yeah. the numbers. Yeah, the, yeah. We, and you like, don't... And, no, and make, don't sure pay the stars what they're asking. Stardom or yeah. perceived movie stardom. Yeah. You know, like, what is movie stardom eventually? Eventually, that is only a question. No, like, coming back to Malayalam, what is happening, a good thing is actually anything which is conventional is not working. Yeah. yeah. Anything, yes, like yes, any yes. any yeah. format yeah, yeah. film which, which is like, let it be action, let it be thriller, let it be like, you know, sci fi mm -hmm. or even horror, even as horror comedy or any, any kind of stuff. Which is on that the conventional insane. life, yeah. Yeah. which is not that that is not working. People people look at it and say that okay, we have seen this. Yep. Uh, what is new in that? Yeah. Yep. So that USP that is that what you so initially I thought just be, just before like during COVID times we thought okay Rishikesh Mukherjee kind of films mm. those are the films which are going to work. Nowadays, no. That's, those films are for Malayalam well, has always made the kind of films that they wanted to make, know, and the audiences right. just I'm, watch them. He tries to the make stories, films that they the think their audiences will want. Right. The the way you make it. Like the, the, the language. Same with Tamil. They, like, you know, they, you've seen kind of many words thing. which are thrown in in West called like, you know, what to say, like meta uh, <laughs> films and the, the other, <laughs> the other yeah. names and everything. Like, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it, it's not, it's the same story, but it's a, it's a language. People know, people know the difference between the, these languages and what these platforms are catering, you know. Platforms have all these, like, you know, templates. Like if you watch constantly on a Netflix, uh, like you know, the, the, the templates are all same. The, the, even the te the color palette, the sound design, everything has got a s similar kind of a texture. Mm. Even the plot. Well, maybe it is in India, but it's not so here in the here, states. Anything on theatrical collective view, they need some kind of a new experience. So that USB is what people are trying. Mm. 
any story can be treat told like as karan mentioned about like you know zoya's film was a game changer your film actually changed vetri's film actually changed yeah. your film actually, like films were changing those yeah. times films were changing yeah. those kind of new changes has to be and there you have to keep that change going yeah. but going. you you can't you cannot ever get anything new if you go by an algorithm yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you will yeah. never have a breakout yeah. artist just let zoya talk have a breakout <laughs> idea. and the thing is like you i i, I genuinely believe the theater is going nowhere okay it's going nowhere it is a a uh, a community experience yeah. we are we love our films if we learn how to make them in a particular budget as he says we have to le- recalibrate this a uh, pay scales and we tell we have to tell all kinds of stories everybody cannot start making horror comedy everybody cannot start exactly. making exactly that's what's going to start happening that's no, what's going to happen because there's 50 more that can be street to did well everyone will start making horror comedy nation in the world and yeah. we have to tell all <laughs> yeah. kinds of stories yeah. absolutely and we are a diverse nation we have to represent everybody yeah. in our films but i believe that even the source of income and revenue to the film industry there will be a new one every two decades every decade there is a new a uh, flash of money that comes in from a new source yeah. and it will come again even these yes, will OTT absolutely. will go and there will be and a new flash of money and you know even money. hollywood discovered this will truth happen. much before when yeah. they started giving all the massive movie stars that aren't tent pole superhero big franchise films they've Back all end. been younger and newer actors right at the beginning they were empowered by the studios to give them these big films that's what has to start happening today yes. you've got to take new actors younger actors and you can tie them in contractually that this is a franchise you work on you can't do another film yeah. of the similar nature and you can do that and that's fine but you have to empower younger newer actors and that can only happen when you put the money behind them and make those big Back films and create more actors we have only if you just by the numbers the, the for viability you have six na- names or seven names and then you're stuck because how, you have want to make 500 movies how do you do that with only those many actors yeah. so you have to increase the pie and that can only happen if you put your money where your mouth yeah. and also yeah. uh, uh, recut the pie because if you uh 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 oh, above the line talent is taking that much yeah. you have so much less to make the film in correct uh your your technical crew which needs to be you know top of the line if you want them to they to uh, and people to stay in those fields and aspire to remain in those fields mm-hmm. you have to pay people it's a big commitment when you're working Everyone. on a movie so all the money can't get drained in one in one end. Back end. It, but you know what it happens in, in our industry a lot that you get so upset to pay a cinematographer or an editor yeah. top dollar but you want to pay an actor who's not assuring you when you open yeah. it's almost like a, this editor is crazy. magical no it's all she like, can change the game of your narrative but 70, you will not want to pay her 70% of the of the films budget is going into it yeah. depend on hero yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. insane that is what is happening it's and you know and insane. we are all filmmakers that respect our crew and you respect what a cinematographer a sound designer as an editor i mean a costume designer everyone brings to the final palette of your film but you don't Burton want to make beetle juice beetle juice for 90 million it in a way that, that was it. the film makes money with all those you names sure you just have to learn we just have to figure it out and i I'm come sure back, back to the theater the yeah, yeah for sure people can't that's afford the way to do to it go to of course cinema. they want to go to the cinema so if you have to go twice you're going to choose those those films yeah. you want to go to so even if i want to go and see a lapata ladies maybe i can't afford to yeah. the thing is that we need to every it needs to be all over the place everybody needs to settle and they tell you that settle. they tell yeah. you that they did a research when they went to like 100 homes and i read this article i'm not sure what the reference point is there are the 100 homes where out of 100 homes 90 of those 100 homes said that we we will watch two films a year and this is of the income group that is a massive part of our audience yeah. base and they said But why because they said we can't afford it so i'm saying they said we can't for they said we are choosing two films so they'll maybe come out in diwali or they'll maybe if they hear a lot about another film Because like three yeah. and awesome. then you know they'll go and watch it's almost the like, crazy yeah. and then there were the family members that said that we don't like to go to a cinema hall with our families because when our kids say that they want popcorn or they oh. want mm-hmm. like to eat we feel bad to deny it to them mm-hmm. so we'd rather not go there we rather go Here, to a restaurant where they're not paying the ticket for just a, a, a four person well, well they have tiered so they pricing for seats as well so, like oh, yeah. so if you want a good like seat you're going to have to spend point. more than you probably yeah, want to spend popcorn mm. i want caramel popcorn i want just so the seat uh, choices are limited or, or because yeah. the, the cheaper say, seats are crap seats because the average cost for the family of prices should be the same for the seats two children i think that would help and maybe that 10000 rupees is not in their economic planning at all and that's what's happening and that's really it, what she saying is absolutely to, right uh, shift because and this is concessions are far more built into yeah. the price of going yeah. to a movie in yeah. india because of But intervals yeah. tell me this um, 
Speaking of stars, one thing that fascinates me is that both of you make such tough movies, right? You're not interested in making films that are comforting. Um, you're making films that are deliberately disturbing. And yet the two of you no, no, all that blood work and with the biggest really stars, comforting right? To me. <laughs> You've made two films with Rajni, sir. Your hey. latest Angalan has the most incredible performance. Hey, uh, what a film. You have such a long collaboration with Dhanush. How does this work? And I want you guys to also talk about why is it so much harder in Hindi cinema to get actors to commit to tougher material because you guys are doing it's it. It's because of what <coughs> Karan said earlier. Uh, I never thought I want to work with big stars. <laughs> that is my problem. <laughs> that was never a beginning for you. Yeah, I, uh, that's why I'm, I begin with small film. Mm. So I wanted to um, uh, convey my thoughts to connect with my audience. So I have a um, concern about uh, my politics. So I want to tell my story without any compromise. So that is why I started Atakati. <laughs> But at, after Atakati, I got a recognition from audience and uh, um, um, producers. <clears throat> also, producers wants to work with me and producers uh, demand some, wants to do something like a hero material film. Uh, after I signed, I, uh, I've, been, um, I've been writing, but I couldn't uh, connect with that hero material uh, um, stories and like um, it's too hard after uh, Atakati. So I read, um, I wrote one um, story before that Atak um, before Atakati um, that is called Madras. Um, Madras. So uh, that movie uh, it's based on like a wall and it's a uh, it's all it's a character oriented movie. So um, I uh, the production house uh, no they like that movie and they wanted to and Karthi also they read he read and he read and he liked that movie. He wants to collaborate with me and um, uh, uh, that is a good thing. Uh, I uh, th that is why I uh, I connect with the big hero first time and uh, he loved that script. He wants to enter that uh, that uh, he wanted to do that character and. Uh, um, I slowly understand how handle the hero. I have some And while I'm shooting, no, while I'm shooting, I had a lot of <laughs> troubles in my mind, no. <laughs> and um, usually, sh um, hero shooting it's happening in a different way. But um, I'm I'm shooting in a different way. I'm I'm doing in my own style. I didn't follow anything. And uh, some of the production people came and discussed with me, "What are you doing? <laughs> you are only <laughs> you know, he's not like one kind of artist. You should take care of him and <laughs> you should think about him." <laughs> I'm really worried about myself. <laughs> so after that, I'm I recollecting what I. Uh, doing and like uh, okay, learn as this you go. is what they want. <laughs> right. know, they expecting. That's what Orson okay, Welles said to do. Uh, I Just learn as you go. Some rework and I, uh, sh I I'll uh, enter the shoot again and I'll do some gimmicks. <laughs> 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 but that movie went well and they loved and people are uh, uh, injured and also I. I dealt, I dealt with very important uh, uh, political thoughts and like, you know, in, uh, after the movie got released, you no, know, it's a massive response and uh, um, massive discussion happened that and after the Facebook are like bu burning, like they uh, wrote a lot of things and a lot of discussion happened. Uh, that time I only realized, you no, know, when he comes here, you no, know, it will make a big sense That's and right. like, yeah. You, you make a bigger impact. Yeah. 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 So I learned from that Madras uh, only. Uh. After that, I um, I didn't recognize, no, Rajini sir called me and meet me. <laughs> that is a sweet uh, thing happened in my, my life. And uh, um, what I thought that day, no, I don't want to work with them. Like, I don't have uh, anything. I don't want to, I cannot uh, deal in like a uh, big heroes, like a uh, star, no, he's a superstar. I never thought like that. And uh, I'm not a first day FDF, FDF, FDFC, no, I'm not the fan like that. I just go and watch alone and like, uh, I don't wanna, want to, um, seeing a movie, no big with uh, around big people, uh, like a uh, lot of people. So I just, I'm very uh, like alone, no. So um, when I, uh, he called me and I met him through his um, through his daughter, no, she is uh, one of uh, my friend, close friend, and uh, I uh, I don't have a story, but um, what I thought uh, I gave some opportunity, so he gave some opportunity, so I don't want to miss, and I just uh, throw my uh, story. He liked. Why he liked, no? 
Uh, it's not a stereotype. <laughs> it's a different. And he said, "I'm a." You um, wrote about like I'm a older man. Yes, uh, that is why I like that. There is no song. There is no uh, <laughs> things, and that is why I like. He liked very much that story. Says a lot about But him. Fans, no, I expect something <laughs> from us. Yeah. No, yeah, I learned a lot. So. um if it, so that is why you no know, i never dreamed with work with the big heroes but the big heroes it will come and that script and they wanted to work with me we need to think about him and what people expecting from us and what my biggest problem no um so uh, i'll 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 write i'll write trying to write to um um make a good hero but my thought no my philosophy sometimes <laughs> interlude and like the, my philosophy taking over like the hero oh, is yeah, a, yeah. Yes. that is not my biggest problem in the kala what happened no after um, kala wife skill no even that um, even that um, uh, nana patekara was and um, people what they thought uh, what they think what, um, what they expecting you went and you went and go and hit him and he will try to kill but uh, what i draw no he went that place and he, he try to talk and convince to him and like to, like no especially what i thought uh, two philosophical things no so uh, uh, it's hierarchy and like uh, against hierarchy so two thoughts and talk and fight like uh, i'm i made like yeah, yeah. it's kind of but the people wants uh, people are expecting <laughs> he wants to kill he wants to fight and like after that only i realized <laughs> <laughs> but, but guys why is it harder like imagine a actor of rajni sir's level mm. reaching out and saying let's make you know a thorny <coughs> film let's make a film that we you... we are the least experimental mainstream cinema mm. in the country yeah. we have to say this it But shows you, it is the way it is it yeah. is i mean there are so many filmmakers who want to tell their stories but the mega movie stars of hindi cinema will not experiment after but they will say all kinds of things we want to do new characters we want to tell new stories we want to make different kinds of films the proof lies in the pudding look it's also the audience it's also the audience but because also, it, uh, it, yeah. it's, it's but haven't they evolved no they like, don't no, you think I, they have evolved I, but you're not getting into that we have to yeah because i think it, it's not gone down well so people oh. have gotten scared, uh, oh. scared. Uh, having said that i feel like someone like uh, mr nasiruddin shah mm. or somebody like mr bachchan even uh, i think that they would do a thorny subject absolutely you know they have and they would they because Nasir, they are sure. interested in parts and they are interested in and i know that they would like a mr and i mr. think amir Uh, I think Amir, Amir definitely Amir. is the so one who kind of there was a sea change with the film you know, scene when Amir one of the did Lagan in 2001. Yeah. Uh, Lagan was was I think one of those movies that will go down in cinema history. Absolutely. You know, it is that film. Yeah. Uh, in that same year, there, there there was Gadar and there was Kabi Kushi Kabi Gam and Dil Chahta Hai. So that year was very iconic Thanks. in the cinema. Uh, there was Chandni Bar as well, uh, but the business was Gadar. You see, mm. so the massive mainstream business was so Gadar was the biggest hit that year. Mm. Lagan won a nomination at the Academy Award. So then Amir still did. He did Tare Zameen Par and he did Rang De Basanti and he did Dil Chahta in the same year and he changed the texture. Yeah. He also did Gajni, which actually brought back that that culture of remake even in Hindi cinema. He actually has bro- actually I think he's a real game changer. Yeah. And and I think what I love about him is that even when he deviates he understands that he's gone wrong he goes back like again he's making sitare zameen par which is now perceived as his comeback film which is not gone anywhere he's still here <laughs> but other actors in the big mega stars that I, there is a like zoya said they have tried it's not that sharuk didn't try sharuk did a paheli you know he did he did an ashoka sharuk comes from the mindset to do different things yes. you know he wanted to do make a difference when he started he worked with kundan shah and he worked Kirtan with aziz mehta and money call and yeah. money call he yeah. did idiot with money call i mean he never wanted to play the mainstream guy but it so happened that dilwale dulaniya le jayenge happened to him and then all of us made love stories with him he wanted to be that quirky mm. mainstream star that changed the way of cinema now no one will allow it now when you see sharukh khan the name comes with an expectation like like you know ranjit was talking about what an audience expects today sharukh plays a mellow character without the stardom i don't of course he will eventually and he will i hope he does because he's such a terrific artist himself but there is an expectation that comes with him you know that will not allow a certain kind of film to be made which is sad because he's an actor first 
and a star after that. He was began in theater. Yeah, I don't know if you're you know, giving audiences enough actor. credit. Now there is a shadow you Just good. do what you're gonna do. But it's not just him; it's the other. If you put Shah Rukh Khan in twelve fail, I think it would have done. What about the younger people? Right. Not. He would have fit. Absolutely, I have to say the, women yeah. the actresses yeah. are really looking to do roles. They're really doing parts, and they actually Karina. have yeah. all started producing because yes. if they're not yep. getting the parts, they're going to make it happen. Yeah. So, you know, the Which women are way cooler. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> no, the I younger generation are not. Right. They are so worried that they'll fail. They're so scared of failure. Because Correct. they feel like they're so scared of falling flat on their face, but they don't know that the only way you can succeed is if you're not fearing failure. So the younger you younger generation, not as they wants to become a big star. No, they, that's, yeah, that's why they don't want, they to, don't experiment. want to do experiment. So they want forty crores and they want experiment. Yes. <laughs> no, forty crores and experiment. Yeah, they want to be wealthy stars, <laughs> not working <laughs> actors. <laughs> that's the bottom line. They want the money. Do you want to be a wealthy star or a working they want actor? Stardom. They want it all, but it doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't happen. Uh, let me tell you, Shah Rukh and Amir are massive movie stars because they took massive risks as they well. They did. You know, they, they played did. different playing fields. I yeah. mean, they all did. That's why they are stars. Mr. Bachchan. I mean, you know, Mr. Bachchan has oh, done all. I feel like he'll do anything. Yeah, he'll do anything. He will. Mm -hmm. Of course, he will. You know, of course, he, he will. Who he? Shah Rukh? Uh, Mr. Bachchan. Mr. Bachchan. Of course, yeah. he will. And he's open to working with. Anybody, With any kid on the block, if yeah. they have an interesting yeah. story to yep. tell. Yep, I mean, I think like to you me, know? it was the most, and we have to take a beat just to talk about Mr. Bachchan and Kalki, and like the fact that you know, at 82, yeah. he's he the film. He, the yeah. narrative yeah. of that he's, film. He's the I film. I saw people the whistling and film. clapping for him. Yes, I was. I had mm. goose flesh just <laughs> being somebody like goose you know, flesh? being grown up in front of him and seeing the aura <laughs> and majesticness goose of bumps. Amitabh Bachchan. To see today, it gives. So much hope. One of the journeys and feel like you know there comes a time where you're new, like I'm new exhausted. I'm not doing uh -huh. anymore. At 82, with, he's yeah. fighting. He I mean, he's fighting. He's hitting. He's owning that. And so we know like know some things from her yeah. about yeah. Uh, there's also one him, and it all gels with this. Then talking about actors here, so they also want to collaborate with directors who make different kind of films. Yes. yes. But they pick up different kind of like you know directors who make different kind of films to make their kind of films. Yeah. Whereas Rajinikanth, when he calls Ranjit. Rajinikanth wants to be part of a Ranjit yeah, film. Right. Mm -hmm. How lovely. Yeah. Not Ranjit. How lovely. Rajinikanth exactly. wants Ranjit to make a film for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. That's so, a big difference. Yeah, that's that's the difference. That's a big difference. I've, you know, I've, it's with, all the difference. Yeah, with, yeah, with whatever I, I, whomever I've met here, that's what I've understood. They are, you know, they don't really, they want the talent, not the narrative. I want to. I want like I want Vetri Maran to make a film for me. I chased and chased and chased and chased and chased, and he just fell off the bed. I, 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 I was like, I want him to make his movie. I didn't want to make him to make it. I was like, yeah. I, I, I really chased him. I have to say okay, this. Okay, if this happens, can I take credit? Yeah, sometimes. Yes. I really chased him, and I was like, what happened? Where did he go? It's like, did I do? I have a bad beat. You had a great beat. Yeah, I know. And I just told him that I'm still. Uh, it's it's based on a novel. Uh, finished novel, so I'm still holding back the rights. Uh, I, I just, this is our official platform to make our announcement. Yes. <laughs> in, Tam in Tamil and Malayalam, we have a, a great artist and a big artist who wants to do some something. Yeah, senior actors, yeah. you know, senior actors yeah. like you know, Rajinikanth. Uh, I mean, look at what Mamuti sir is yeah. 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 doing. Oh my God! Stunning. Yeah. 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 I mean, when he did Kathal, I mean, yeah. Yeah. he produced yeah. it. Yeah. He put a it was, story. I mean, yeah. how groundbreaking was that? Yeah. Cut from the same. Oh my God! The thing is, yeah. thing is, he never feels like the problem with stars. Like you know, you it, it always comes with a baggage, right? Yeah. Like you know, you have to collect this much. It has to be a massive film. There, Mamuti, what he's trying to do is that he doesn't care about all these things. Yeah. Okay, yeah, if it's sure. a forty-day film, it's a forty-day film. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, it's a small role. Okay, I'm doing it. Like it's it's about how well the role is written for it. Yeah. <laughs> Like how 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 well, what a what a revolutionary yeah. idea. Yeah. Like any story you, yeah. you go to Mr. Bachchan, like he has yeah. done everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Every same thing. Like you know, so what is new? What is new in that? So that kind of an exploration should happen from an actor, from a senior actor. Yeah. That is where you know where this he's trying. And also, and they they are they are inspirations to look up to for young actors. Only when there is precedence, yeah. they are like inspired. Okay, I want to be like that. Right. I want to do also very like important I, I, thing is no, just, there is no insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There is no insecurity mm. in that. Yeah. I I believe in my cinema. I live here. Also, also he's producing all yeah. those. He's films. producing yeah. those. Yeah. That's the beauty. Yeah. Including wow. Lijo's film. Yeah. He, yeah. he yeah. you know he was a producer yeah, yeah. on yeah. that and uh, that again did not fit into any mold. Creme de la creme. Uh, Mamuts. Ranjit, one 
of the things that amazes me about you is that you have not just set up a production house. You've created a sort of a parallel universe, right? You've enabled, of course, features, but also short films and books and journalism and a music uh, scene and film festivals and a library. Uh, one of the films that you oh, produced you. was, of course, <laughs> Mari Selvaraj's Periram, 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 yeah. which now you are remaking you. as Dharak, Dharak 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a fantastic <laughs> film. I, I saw it in the pandemic and I was blown. My apologies for remaking it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, because it I, it's a film that is just wholesome on its own. Fuck it's really God. fantastic. But I'm proud to kind of tell that story in Hindi and I do hope we justify the film. <laughs> It's but really but tell me this, <laughs> given all that we've discussed, right? And oh, it is on. a really tough film. Yeah. There are moments in that movie that, that just... Are hard. That are really hard, right? And uh, Shazia Iqbal, who's directing Dharak 2, is... I mean, I love Bebak. It's such yeah. a wonderful short that she's made. Uh, but when you're taking this and translating for a Hindi audience, are you diluting? Because Sairat did get diluted. Yes. Um, no. We're not holding back from the core conflict of the film, from the depiction, the way that the, the core conflict is. I don't want to say too much for people in the Hindi speak who don't know about the original and have not seen it and should experience it afresh. But no, we haven't held back at all. Not in any way. It's as hard hitting and it's as solid and without diluting the huge impact of the, the original, like we haven't at all. That's why if you realize the choice of filmmaker, like Shazia Iqbal was a very, uh, it was again Somen Mishra's idea who heads our project divide is a producer with us on that dharma. And he was like, we need somebody who can understand the sensitivity, you know, of, of the original and protect and protect the, the sanctity of that and still tell it in its hardest fashion. Yeah. Yeah. No, we haven't held back. Good. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, waiting. <laughs> I don't know how it'll come. I, I, I mean, I, you, I understand from your perspective when somebody tells your story again, like you're never going to like think yeah. it's anything. No, no, I'm not, th but I'm not that like that, but I, I wanted to, expecting, you know, uh, we need to address that uh, the caste violence yes. happened in here. That is absolutely Not yeah. only in Tamil Nadu, yeah. you know, like, you no, know, you can go in the Maharashtra anywhere. Still, they are, uh, they are practicing caste in a very rooted. Yes. It's a very dangerous position in all over India. I can give a... I can't example. imagine watching a great to, film and uh, thinking, today, okay, yeah, I gotta remake the this. Date, until the time, we like watching Gangs of New York. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to remake this for a different audience. Very, 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 uh, it, it, it is not an underestimate. Yeah. So that is why. It's still practicing. And there's we that need to... track in the original, which is just like, when I saw it, it was like I, it was like a chokehold reaction when I had. Again, I'm not saying which track. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the track. <laughs> the same, was... the Maharashtra, the Kailan, you know. Um, um, very bad happened in a mask and, uh, yeah. and uh, very um, few years back. It is a uh, very worst thing happened in Maharashtra also. So the caste problems are everywhere. Absolutely. So we need to, yeah, we yeah. need to address in the right way. We don't yeah. want to hide and we don't want and to And I thought the important to... thing mm. is to give hope also. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You know, which I loved about the film, that it gave you hope right at the end. <clears throat> we are expecting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just, we just expecting that only. Yeah, we had a problem. We, we are um, uh, we are having a lot of problems, but we all hope uh, we have a hope something like uh, we um, we love human things and human only understand. Everything. And I love the way the film ends. <laughs> you know, that gives you hope. Uh, and I think because like you see, even Saira, it ends in such a yeah. like a like everybody was like you know I remember being traumatized when I walked out of Saira because I was like it's just you you could ever numb you know and it was important because. Periurum, 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 you can call Periurum. Periurum, sorry. So even he has problems with some of the time. It gives hope. Yeah. And that gives me hope. to hold on to that. Absolutely. I'm going to, I also want, I want this to last forever, but I have been told it cannot. So I also want some insights into your process. Okay, uh, so very quickly, what part of filmmaking do you like the most and what part do you like the least, Mahesh? Like I started as an editor. Yes. Editor, so you know that. So You've done uh, more yeah, than 100 Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. No, 60, 60 plus. So huh. the thing is like, uh, I write for my edit always. So uh, the writing right. is the toughest part. Right, so right. It's always the toughest nice. part. So that is where this, this, the cinema lies there. Like, you know, it's it's the toughest. In the writing, writing is so yeah, damn hard. That process is the is a like even if it comes in 
like say for example a film like see you soon was written in two weeks but it's not that if it's written wow. in two weeks but it's it's about <laughs> writing something out <laughs> which is conceptualized in yeah. terms of an edit and then like you know you're 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 making it like that but yeah. sometimes yeah. you know you have to take time into that your 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 mind goes bizarre in that process that but you it. like it yeah like it so okay. that is what, what do you like the least the least is like you know uh, you know when when you wait for something like you know when you wait i mean like here we say wait for green lighting <laughs> like you know in malayalam the green lighting happens in 3 days <laughs> you want to make a film go you know he signed six actors for k3g in one day oh yeah it was super <laughs> that's insane got six of his cast on the same day wow yeah wouldn't do that now six homes on one day also so here when you wait man when you wait the problem what happens is like is your your story gets expired yeah your film gets expired that's the main problem like you mm. know you you write something right it's timely and you start shooting it in 3 years later or 2 years two and a half yeah, years right. later it is expired right by that time you have to fetch new ideas the entire screenplay is gone yeah. you have to rewrite it so that is the biggest challenge what i'm facing yeah yeah for you what do you like the most i just when he said writing i just looked at zoe because i know how much she loves writing <laughs> Writers are a different breed. Totally different I, breed. I can't say I hate it because there's so much gorgeousness about creating characters, writing narratives, stories, but it's very daunting. It's very scary, and yeah. it's very like because you don't, you know, the days that you're going through, those days that nothing comes out of your head, and those are such awful, scary days. And then suddenly, when a great scene is written, so writing to me is daunting. I can't say I hate any part of filmmaking because it's in your core, it's yeah. in your DNA. But daunting, yes, writing, very traumatic phase for any filmmaker, specifically me. what i love the most i have to say not just the execution of film is the background music process no. <laughs> like i love love that's oh the romantic God, in him i love that process the most i just love how you can just like like oh. a symphony like an orchestra you can elevate a moment and you know so much about him he's such a romantic there's so much about him to films i had the that's funny the massive good fortune of actually seeing a score with an absolute large live orchestra yeah. you know there used to be chorus there was the 40 violinists there were flutes and there was this massive empire in andheri has this huge where i saw bablu da who was like the music arranger and there was live orchestra and lata ji standing there oh. in her console singing the alap to kabhi khushi and the violins along with her there was a flute with basuri uh, you know the basuri that's why he reuses was, that uh, so Manurida much with his basuri <laughs> was cut. i was like to me this that was cinema and i don't have that that privilege anymore of doing that but still when i'm in the background score when there is a chorus and there is and i'm still i'm a big believer in the old school background score oh really it. what I no. Love, no. I would love to. I mean, I'm such a big fan, and yeah. he's such a genius. But that, that, I, I think that's my favorite part of the pre <laughs> or post of a film is really the score, the background score. So How funny. lovely! Yeah. How lovely, Zaya. It's also very peaceful to be in music. Mm. It's yeah. it's a very. I love writing. I have to say, I absolutely love writing, and I love shooting. I like the energy of a shoot. Oh yeah. When you oh, come yeah. out of the writing process, which is quite quiet and nine to five, a, that's a, the only nine to five world. part of my life. Uh, but shooting is got energy. It's got adrenaline. I love the alchemy of the actors, the costumes, the people, yes. camera, everything together. It's beautiful. Uh, I don't like editing. Yeah. I see Interesting. All my yeah. yeah. It's like sunset. You know, writing is sunrise and editing oh, is sunset. It's, it's like I, you just have to. You know, there's all this possibility in writing, and then you're saving in editing. Yeah. I don't like that, and, and, and I hate dubbing. Like I hate it. Oh, that's. I mean, I, if you can. But you really it. do dub. No, yeah, dub but you have, you have to. You have to do yeah, ADR. Some scenes you, you don't have to, yeah. and, I, and I just don't enjoy it. I don't like it. And stop doing it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean like I have to just tell everybody and my thing there because I hate dubbing so much and I should have said that well done on mm. and pointing it out mm. that I've never attended a single dub. <laughs> I no, can't. I go. Because I, I know okay. I won't like it and I'll drive them mad. I go so and like, I, I don't like it. I don't go to a dub. Because I'm like it's never going to be the same. I'm going to be annoyed. So just give me what <laughs> the only, I it only works on ADR when you miss it on the day and, and you have every, to fill it in. Every really? once on yeah. every film I've had one. <laughs> Yeah. Where well, I messed it up on once on every film I've made. Mean, you feel that I just this film is over. I'm yeah. I'm done. And oh, what have yeah. I done? Like that feeling? Like full doubt. Full doubt. Then my editor will be like it's fine. 
This is called a first. He knew everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. The other part, which I mean, she will empathize with because I mean, like make or break you your film on the floor, man. Yeah. I'm always worried in Hindi cinema. Like the other thing that I hate are research screenings oh, when you're showing people and they walk out and you know it's like you know when somebody dies, <laughs> and, you know, they line up at the end and you're standing like this. Your filmmaker feels like this outside an editing room that they're going to walk out in a line and give you that look. You know, and you can tell your body language yeah. if somebody's liked it, not oh, liked wow, it. Oh wow, that's great. Then everybody sits and answers those. Well, you know, you have to ask them what they thought, and then you're just worried about what they're going to say. These are focus lister. groups. Those two right. I don't go to. Only those uh. or Max. I've done it for many movies, but you hear the videos, and they're so ruthless. <laughs> and, and they're like, I'll not recommend this movie. No. I'll not watch it. And you're this is your three years of work, and they're just right. like, oh, right. why? Why do I have to put myself through? Why did I do this? And yet you're told you must, you must, you must. You know, and I'm like. So do you guys do this? Do you all have? research focus no. groups no they nothing? won't no, no, and no. i want to be please, there please don't advise <laughs> <laughs> says a lot about those yeah, industries those kids like, like, they're making films like, for themselves a story, but she's so not she for the audience in hollywood it's like, just the big studios that do the focus groups independent film doesn't really do that you don't need it make your freaking film what's rapping but he's saying it's a film about rap but we're going to change it cuz the audience liked it or didn't know write your movie do your movie To be honest, I. Yeah, of course you can't. Yeah, you, nobody, nobody, you can't can. listen. To I, I, I don't listen to everything. I'm just like, okay, okay. I've been shouted at, and once in a focus group, I've stopped going by an uncle. Uh, he was a producer's uh, father's friend, and he was just like, "Zindagi, this is a rubbish movie. What is this movie? What huh. is going on? What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> They're driving." And I was like, "Okay." No. Sir, this movie is not for you. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot do anything to can't make this do, movie. Can't for please you. everybody. <laughs> this is it. That's Less unreal. driving. Yeah. So people. Wow. Are like, I mean, and it's that, not for him. Somebody sitting through yeah. Deborah and going. Yeah. It's just these guys driving around. There were some like kids okay. who were in their twenties who were like, we liked it, we connected with it, so then yeah. they started fighting. So I kind of yeah, yeah got away. So, Vichy, you don't do this. There's, the focus group is your core group. It's very telling no, that I it's only the Hindi industry that does it. Very <laughs> telling. You know, uh, I am very happy to mm-hmm. show my film, like show my rushes, show my edit, and uh, yeah, show that's different. Everybody. And do your own thing. Show your dailies, <laughs> <laughs> and then show your edit to your producers. I don't say that. I show to everybody. Like this in Hindi, there is no "suno sabki karo apni." Correct. Correct. For me, it's like I like everything about uh, filmmaking. Uh, editing, the most I would say, like I edit for a year. So for a year. Wow. Yeah, but that's great. <laughs> I also take. Long. That's why he does the one shot, so he doesn't have to edit that part. But <laughs> the amount of the amount of time he's like given to not be forced to make changes he doesn't want to. Oh. I don't want to finish a film. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't want to finish a film. So, like, mm. I, I would like to have. I, I would like to have a. A few more months, like yeah. one more month extra, like another ten days of shooting. Sure. Mm. That's me. Mm. Ranjit, uh, <clears throat> I really love uh, while I'm uh, writing. You no, know, too personal. Uh, there is no one to yeah. enter my space, and yes. like I just enjoying. I keep writing, writing, writing. I explore my w- overall. Writers are. But I was told to read to read other person. Do <laughs> come <laughs> <laughs> proud. Yeah. They'll say no. You have to edit this. You have to <laughs> don't start like this. So I hate <laughs> really. <laughs> so. It's a, it's a, no, the art is very personal. Like it's kind of conscious. You no, know, whatever we we connect with something. You no, know, we need to explore to the things. You no, know, but um, uh, sometimes most of the problems. You no, know, and um, who's uh, going to read and I, what, what they read and all they not connected and like I, I'm trying to find the word and like uh, reconnecting, reconnecting and uh, yeah. that is I'm enjoy. Uh, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm enjoy enjoying. You no, know, you cannot. Give that word. I like enter that world. I don't want to come out that world while yeah. I'm writing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But the shooting, no, I hate. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Being director, yeah. Being yeah, director, it is really. I love shooting. <laughs> wow, <laughs> really. that's so interesting. Yeah, because of that, no, yeah. lot of person come and like, no, you have to be like. Your world is getting like, destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> like they come and mess up yeah, your good thoughts. He wants to be in control. <laughs> he wants to be in control. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the lack of control. Give some words and like they'll understand. And He's probably. At heart, a writer. Can you yeah. know? It is a big process, yeah. and you have to be. <laughs> you have to have a lot of patience, and you just. Say, I'm not a anger person, also. I just come and sit and watch and watch, and and I go I go and re re correction, and and I'll I'll say action. No, I just waiting for my good take. But you know, 
I, I, I need to more patient and uh, sometimes no on um, sometimes a lot of days no I, I don't want to direct and I just want to throw yeah. to get out yeah. of the yeah. set. Yeah, oh God, I, 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 I feel the... you. Every day is like when you're outdoors and the weather is bad and everything is <laughs> rush. Yeah, yeah, not every day is a lovely day, that's true. I want to make a what that's why you shoot in Switzerland. The, the, the craft's challenging me. And sometimes I couldn't do... Uh, Crafty's challenging? Um, <laughs> in a proper level. So I felt bad about myself. You, uh, you you're doing some worst thing you cannot do like that it's uh, it's like challenging me my thought and like no it's my writing no, it's words uh, when i'm going to uh, read something what i wrote no the words challenging me the creatives challenging me but and uh, person and director no i'm i i uh, <laughs> i wanted to i, I wanted to Ask help some like no actors and camera ah, <laughs> like yeah. no that is the challenging yeah. me and um, but I'm trying to connect with all crafts and uh, I just uh, uh, sometimes uh, if I don't like also okay this is good okay <laughs> <laughs> okay we can show that and yeah absolutely in editing no <laughs> editing shows me everything I'm a worst person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and after finish that uh, movie, it's got released in theater and everywhere. I don't want to see my movie. Mm. That is my yeah, that is reason. Same. I don't want to see. Same. Same. I just just I, let go. No, if I get the, the sound, the yeah. sound also. I just Same. want to Same. stop Same. immediately. I just uh, I don't want to see any visuals. I just if I comes any visuals, I just turn and like. Uh, you yeah. know that and Sarpata Parameri in the first day OTT telecasting um, that day no I just uh, uh, sitting and watching sometimes and I uh, disconnect uh, some um, I disconnected with that movie. I, I didn't like that movie. I don't know. <laughs> I run away. I run away in my room and like people are watching. I didn't watch. I love that. Yeah, I, still, <laughs> I don't know. In all my movie uh, told me very clearly it is your bad movies. I, I, I was trying to make a good movie. <laughs> better. <laughs> better. 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 Okay, guys, what's the last great Indian film you've seen? Anyone? Sorry, I don't know. The last great Indian film. Great. Great. Good. Brilliant. Anything. That's a big one. Too. Yeah. I mean... I, I went and saw Shole on screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last Hindi film I saw. So I have what to, will get better than Shole? Yeah, yeah. So I have to say, the yeah. last I mean, like textbook film. Correct. Yeah. But, you know, also 49 years old. Can yeah. we bring it a little? Uh, <laughs> no, no I, I liked two films that I watched Kotukali and. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Bari. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see that one, see that one yeah. when it comes out. OTT. Brilliant. That was incredible. Yeah, and Suri, whose life great film. changed with Bit of the Lie, was so good in Kutakali as well. Oh. So good, so good. What about I'm, the rest I'm of choosing, you? Yeah, I'm choosing to say the films that stand for the film themselves. Yeah. On their own. Yeah. Without any... Uh, I would say Lapata, ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Kata. That's a great one. Yep. And Kata. Oh, yeah, Kata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. these two films were like... Really Magnificent, yeah, great films. Me. I have to say Lapata, ladies, and then not because you're here, 12th film. I had a physical reaction to that yeah. film in the end. Like I was weeping. And beautiful I watched it film. At home much later. Yeah, it's a I beautiful watch it movie. In the cinema. I watched it when you know I was. I, I think it was during the time of something happening in my life. I saw and I was weeping at the end. And the last time the same thing happened to me is when I saw Udan. And I was being in my bed while watching Udan. Udan. And I wept okay, at okay. the end of Twelfth Field. Like I had a physical what about reaction the dad from it? to the climax. Yeah, it was beautiful. You know? that and it that just, dad it just again, struck right some kind. Of, and Lapata Ladies was just joyous. It was so nuanced and fine and joyous. It was. These are the two of my favorite films in the last one year. I have to tell you all, so uh, Karan saw 12 Fail and sent this big, mm. uh, big chest filled with chocolates and mm. wine and all these amazing things to Vinod. And he's like, Karan ne mujhe baksa bheja hai. It was a hamper. He sent him a hamper. And, and he was so, so delighted. He yeah. was like a five-year-old who got a big Christmas I just kept, I said, Vido, did you really make this film? It's fantastic. <laughs> like, what happened to you? <laughs> it was so fantastic. I you know that I have the sense of you. Because he's never seen any of my movies, so I can say anything to him. It's fine. <laughs> Mahesh, what have you seen? See, last year, like, there's a film called Atam, which won the National Yes, yeah, okay, so yes. It was, it was, ah, yes. It was so like Indian Film Festival also. I, I, I yeah. saw this film uh, as a rough cut also. So, I, it was like, for me, it was like watching a, uh, like, you know, uh, Theater. Uh, like, you know, s- something which is very personal. Like, like just like the 12 Angry Men, like, you know, those kind uh-huh. of things. Like, very like personal, well-edited, well-shot. Great film. And, you know, well-written also. So, that was very personal. And then, 
again, that was considered for the to, Oscars. Like, you know, the, these days, like, again, <laughs> about Salim Javed. So that one actually blew me. Actually, Which one? Angry Young Men? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I need, need to watch it still. I, I really feel like, you know, those were the real people who really said we, were, we are the uh, owners of cinema. Like, we own it. Mm. Like, that is the thing which we require these days. Like, you know, get liberated. We should have like you know, old-fashioned conviction. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that conviction. That is what is missing in many because a lot of people are dictating many, many, many things. Like you know, studios are dictating. These people are dictating. Those days, they they, mm. they were so liberated. Yeah. So I felt so happy <laughs> seeing that. And you know how many films in every language, how many characters in every language are a result of Salim Javed's writing? Yeah. Yeah. Today, in every whether it's Tamil or Telugu or Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, of course they have inspired an entire generation of cinema. Yeah. And it is important to just kind of acknowledge that the root lies there. No, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful mm. documentary. Loved it. Uh, before we end, anything you guys are curious about each other? Any questions for each other? Yes? I want to ask him because I, I don't know if it's true, but I hear sometimes you don't have a bound script. And you create on set. I want I to know can't. how. I can I, Yeah, I want to the know two how writers. you block the scene. I'm very jealous about him. Man. <laughs> yeah, I want to know how you block the scene. What do you do? I'm okay. Back you don't give me a script. Movie. You make my movie with yeah. me. I don't want your script. <laughs> what happens is, um, sometimes I'm again quoting uh, Vidhutale. I called my producer and said I'm going to do a small film because we have uh, a lockdown, pandemic lockdown. I'm going to do a small film, like four and a half crores, and uh, I'll finish the film in 40 days. So I've been shooting the film for nearly 200 days, and it's a two-part film now. <laughs> so first part is released. This second, producer. Second, second, second part is released. Release. Karana, you have so, second thoughts about no? producing? <laughs> no, I'm ready. Even if I'm in the ICU, I'll be fine. <laughs> so uh, I have an idea. I go to the set, I start working, I see the character, I see the actor, and I see the, the, the potential of the actor. The, and the, something changes. The width and depth of the actor as yeah. a performer, and then I slowly start putting that actor into the world, like the terrain, and then the terrain dictates me how I tell the film. Like the, temp, the, the, the rhythm of the film is determined by the terrain. Like say for instance, when I was doing Widow the Lake, it's a hill terrain where uh, the, the protagonist is a... Uh, a uh, cop, like a, a jeep driver, police jeep driver. So, in my mind, the scene is like he goes from here to here. Yeah. Okay. But I put the camera here and then I ask him to drive the jeep. The jeep goes this way. And by the time he's here, I'm bored. Yeah. Now I have to change accordingly. Now I need to like keep up the tempo and also tell the story. And by the time I start doing it, I see people who are actually living there and whatever I had written seems very wrong for the people who are living there. And then I start making some changes. And then when I start making changes, then few new characters come in. When new characters come in, then I ask for a bigger actor. When a bigger actor comes in, oh then God. the salary salary goes <laughs> higher. Then God. because the salary is going higher, I think of a, like a blocking, a sequence that needs to be big, like the first shot of uh, Vidhu Dalai, it's a... He treats filmmaking like... He rehearsed for 13 minutes. Freeform painting. Take, which runs for He's like a eight director. minutes. Yeah. It has a... Uh, Zoya and I mean, uh, like, the writers. <laughs> Don't... Shot. And Karen is a so producer. <laughs> I need to block that and I need to do that. Then when I am doing that, then I realize that... He wants to get in the clay and the paint and just yeah. one wherever it goes. He needs to like have two parts to manage the budget. Then I'm thinking if this has the... Like, if the story can lend itself to become bigger, then... She's amazed. I realize it is, it can, like, lend itself to grow bigger because there are two characters in the film. So, how when I Scott decide that it has to be a bigger one, the intermission becomes the climax. When the intermission, which was small, to become a climax, then you have to because, do yeah, because we are doing a mainstream film, it needs to have some action in it. And then it becomes a 13, 14 day sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say I'm jealous of this? Freedom? Yeah, she's in awe. Yes, you are. No, I am, the I'm freedom to do that. To top this, I, know, I think just, you have to end I mean, this on and this also, also, yeah. Such also, freedom. One more thing to it. I finished the second part. And Every other director's like, why don't we get this? At Rotterdam this year, January. 
and then I have shot 65 days <laughs> for the second part. <laughs> I had a, I, I had a, I had a four and a half hour film. He's <laughs> got <laughs> So yeah, so he's like, he still wants to do. She, yeah, she's astonished. I want to know who is financing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And he's the producer. Yeah. yeah. His his name is Elred Kumar. RS Entertainment is the company. Anytime you can call us. They're all emailing under the table. No, it's not just him. All my producers have been very uh, kind, and all my actors also. And trusting. I called Vijay Sethupati to play a role for eight days. I've shot with him for nearly 120 days. Oh my <laughs> stars! So it's like everybody have, <laughs> like somehow they trust me and they've given their best. It's for the producer, cool. the, the yeah. producer, yeah. right from the first film, Dhanush has done that for yeah. me. My first film, those days, I shot for 89 plus three days of patchwork. Oh. I exposed 147,000 feet. Oof. First film. So, which is like my second film, it was like 2 lakh and uh, 17,000 feet. You're very privileged. Exposed. Yeah. <laughs> and 127 days, my second film, Ardagalam. So, it was like, I am somehow. It's like George like, Lucas. You know, I should be like, I'm Lucas very, used to very film for two, for all three years. My like actors, producers, my, my team to somehow believe in the vision I, I have. They all share the no vision. No joke. And they just think that they should back me, they, they should stand by me. Incredible. I think I'm a very, very. Uh, what to say, gifted person that way. Yeah, you're blessed. And you, like, I am telling the producer, sir, we'll finish this. And he's telling, no, no, sir, sir, you told that sequence. Please let us do it. If not this film, in which film? This will producer be? has to be I, called for dinner. Where do I get this producer's <laughs> number? <laughs> Everyone's moving so, to Chennai. Yeah. So after this, what I did was for Rotterdam, I did a four hour cut of the first part and the second part together. Four hours and 12 minutes or something. The long film. And uh, they screened it. After screening, I showed the film to the producer. He was happy with the film. He said he will release the film. I told him the second part might not be enough because we are looking at a bigger thing. We need to have some more, like, it's a, as he mentioned uh, in Kala, it's a discussion of ideologies. Discussion of ideologies for mainstream audiences is a little challenging. Yeah. <clears throat> the discussion, if it is visualized scenic, in a, in, a, in a scenic yeah. manner, as a, in a sequential manner, then it is possible. So I said, we'll do it. Said, How many days, he asked, like, 30 days? Is it okay? <laughs> so we, we are done with the 30 days and we have another 20 days. So <laughs> I'm hoping to Wait, you're it. still shooting? Yeah. <laughs> what? And we have, we have I hope it will not <laughs> going to part three. <laughs> I don't want to. I done four it's years. now a mini series. I started in uh, December 2020. And I'm still yeah. with the film. And, uh, and December, it's December is when 20, yeah, December part two 20th will come. is the will, release. Yeah. Yeah. And I have another 20 days of shoot left. It's not even done yet! So, yeah. And I, I work like crazy. Like the last. This is the best story I've heard yeah. of yeah, yeah, I'm like, like, film <laughs> ever. I'm like, really, this is like mind boggling. No, this is like, like Herzog has got better uh, stories now. Uh, <laughs> all the wilder yeah. stories. Too. We don't Incredible. have any wild story like this. <laughs> <laughs> no one is giving us so many days to make a movie. Even though I've had. Visarne also, I shot that way. I didn't have a script and I just went and I shot like the film. I, but Visarne I shot in 39 days. And it, I shot the film in 2 crores and 75, 72 lakhs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I like that film the best of my yeah. I like So Visarne. that's a lesson to learn then. <laughs> <laughs> says, the, no, says the producer. Says, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 2 crores, 72 lakhs, 39 days. Oh, you can get it done in less time for less but money. Also, but that no is okay. The <laughs> <laughs> time I also got without any scene script. I, I know what that feels like. Yeah, you know, you want to create magic there in the moment that you, you're allowed to, especially if you're producing your own film. That's <laughs> right. That's right. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Genuinely, I have had such a great time and I wish to God we could just go on. But thank you all. And, you know, for me, the glass is always half full. I think okay. the theatrical experience is going nowhere. We're going to be watching your movies. I will die in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> On that happy note, uh, thank you. And you do you always. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, this is Karan Johar. Hi, my name is Mahesh Narayan. Hi, I am Paranjit. Hi, I am Zoya Akhtar. Hi, I am Vitri Maran. Please subscribe to Hollywood Reporter India. Welcome to India. Welcome to India. Welcome to India, the Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, do, you, do yourself a favor and pay attention to Hollywood Reporter on their website as well. They're... But India's Hollywood Reporter? Yeah, all of them, and Hollywood. They're just, they're they're one of the most important uh, 
reporters on things in the industry worldwide. It's always Bam a and variety. Always a pleasure watching uh, artists talk about oh, man. their process and artistry and and having like, her talk to them. Yes. Um, just she, I mean, she just lets people talk, which is great. Yeah, she's um, cold. She asks good questions yep. and um, she and yeah. she has a, the other thing she has is a reputation that everybody has a relationship with her where they trust. It's like they could be having this conversation in her living room because they've they've known her for so long and they've trusted her for so long. There's really she could ask them anything and they're all going to feel really comfortable. They won't have their guard up. Mm -hmm. They'll be transparent. So she's a, she's a gem. Yeah, it's um, and it was super interesting to have. Obviously, they had two from Hindi, two from Tamil, and uh, one Mali, one Malayali. Yeah, um, it would have been cool to have some Telugu or Marathi in there as or well. Gujarati, but, um, uh, Bengali, you know. Yeah. Um, other ones, but obviously those are uh, those are the heavy hitters. Well, they, they didn't have a Telugu at all. Um, yeah, they're, that's true. They're a big heavy hitter. Yeah. Um, but not only are they, they different industries, so the, those all bring differences. But they're all they're all directors. Sure, they're not all directors. I don't feel at at heart. Um, like Vishal is a composer, and he said he's like I'm direct, so I can. Make my make music. my main make right. my music he's, for my he's, films. Music is first for him. He the um, a gentleman uh, the Malayalam. He said, "I I make my movies. I uh, I he, he said it. I make it. He writes the edit or something like that. I, I forget what he said, but it's it's an editing first process. Zoya and Paranjith writers writers at heart, and those are those are beasts of people. Yeah, um, they're uh, I, my brain doesn't let me write at all. Um, I wish I had thought of a question I have for her. We'll have to talk to her again. But anybody who writes, I have a question for them about their writing. But anyway. Yeah. And then I think, um, what's his name? Vatri mm -hmm. is, I think he's a, director. the most director first he's a, he's of the for, of for sure. He's a free flow director, man. Yeah. The, the visual you gave there was like, he's just a free form painter. Yeah. Whatever he's feeling, he'll throw yeah. some paint on the wall and. Whatever materials he can use in the moment, he's very spontaneous. Um, not everybody can work with that, and he's not a, just producers. A lot of actors can't work with that. Producers' nightmare, and Karen. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of actors can't work with that. And Karen is, even though he's a well-respected and he's um, a producer, a director. He's a producer. he's a producer <laughs> at heart. Yeah. Um, like <laughs> one of the most producer people I've ever seen. Um, luckily, he has a. It feels like a good head on his shoulders, and he likes, like he he wants to make different stuff, and it's usually not um, always about the numbers, even though he is very number centric. Yeah, um, I don't think he can escape that. No, it's just, it's just how his brain who works. he is. It's it's in the same way that 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 Vetri can't escape the way he directs. It's just that's how he's wired. Yeah, um, it's super interesting that he said. Um, the score is his favorite. Um, yeah. Considering his movies have some of the most over-the-top, um, loud background scores. Iconic, no doubt. Um, but that's that's super interesting. And then Zoya is over there, just a uh, quintessential oh. writer. Um, yeah, I, 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 I can't. I really love the first question as well. Yeah. Starting off with the Hemet Committee question and what needs to be done. And I think it was Vetri who said he has with his production, and I think this should be done Industry-wide, all productions, is that in the same way that, for example, we now have intimacy coordinators, yeah. there should be a, a, a third-party person who can be just like a safety coordinator. Yep. For safety on set, there should be another kind of safety coordinator that everyone knows they can go to, and it's anonymous, because the big thing is the power levels. Yeah. And... You know, if a grip sexually harasses a star, their star's going to have no problem reporting that. Mm -hmm. If it's done by an A-list actor who's getting 70% of the budget of the film and they know that if they say something bad about them, that person has the power to blacklist them out of the industry, not so easy. Yeah. And the only way to change that, because you can't change the people, you can't change the A-lister who is a, a sexual predator. Yeah. You can change the industry so that there is a safety place in, 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 on set where someone can anonymously go and then evidence can be found, but it has to be third party. Yeah. Yeah. And this is obviously brought up here, but the Hindi industry needs to learn from the... In many ways. In the Malayalam and the Tamil yeah, industries. Many and, ways. And, and how they do things. Learn from the moots. Um, and Rajakhan. And, and, and Superstar, um, who all make good 
commercially successful films, but also new and different and they're not taken up. <laughs> like, I don't even know, like, it'd be interesting to talk to Karen Johar for many reasons of like, why, why isn't there a back end thing? Like, okay, take this. Right. And if it is successful. Yeah. You can have some back end on it. Right. Yes. Uh, that's been a thing here forever to bring down budgets. Yes. Uh, that, that as well as I would love to see more A-list big star people do the kinds of things that Amir Khan does and Anurag Kashyap does. They are such spokespeople, advocates, and heroes for great films that nobody else would have ever heard of. Yeah. So, for example, if Shah Rukh Khan said, I'm going to have a screening this weekend of a film I love that I think you all need to see. And if you come, there's a photo opportunity. I'm going to sign autographs for you guys. And I really want everybody who's a fan of mine to know about this particular film. Come together with me on this Friday night yeah. and then go tell your friends and family because I think this film deserves to be watched. That kind of thing would be would be industry changing. Yeah. 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 I don't know why they have to continue to pay them considering the don't. films that in the Hindi industry that were successful this year. Um uh, Twelfth Fail, obviously, extremely successful, great content. La Patel Ladies did very well. Even a film that, even though we didn't enjoy, uh, Street Two, it wasn't. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it, he said it was made on 100 crores. I'm assuming. Yeah, I think I'm assuming took... Raj Kumar and all Lope. these other didn't take all this. Lope. Um, and so, like, even if it's you know films I don't like, that that's the more success. That's the more. Um, a healthy way yeah. to, to do it. It's the difference between, I said it while we were watching it, it's the difference between the heart of people who, is your goal that you want to become a wealthy star or would you, you want to be a working actor? Yeah. And and that's the thing of, I believe if you make good work, the wealth and the stardom will come because you've made the work that's so good. Allah, Mamuts, Rajnikanth, Danush. And they're respected. And, and they're loved. respected. And it, it, I always go back to, you know, if you want to see one thing about the heart and the character of a person, uh, look at the way Rajnikanth allows himself to look as his non-screen persona himself when mm -hmm. he's out. He doesn't wear his wigs. He's he's just, he's very real. And it's the fact that he, and Vijay Satapathy, who who commits to a film for eight days and then days is now? just okay with it lasting 120-something. When you're in demand, it's going to screw up other projects, but you're just you're you're on board because you care about what's going on with the project. And you also recognize it's not just about you, it's that the, it's collaborative. It's the culture in the yeah. industries that's so different. So different. Um, Even the fact that they don't the South doesn't have screenings for for polling and research. And it seems like it's mostly the. Um, older generations of stars, I'm not saying. I don't know who specifically he's talking about. I'm assuming it's like the Shah Rukh Khans, the uh, Akshays, the the Salmans, the, the the people of that generation who are notably extreme stars. Mm -hmm. And so they've worked for a long time. And so just like in the early 2000s when Will Smith, Johnny Depp were garnering $20 million a movie. Right. They're not anymore. Right. Because it changed. Right. <laughs> people aren't except, going just for you anymore. Except Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's, he's the, the he's the unicorn. He's the exception to yeah. the rule, yeah. though. Still, uh, I I don't know the uh, I would. I God, I feel like you can make a lot more if you just take a little on the front and then more on the back end, especially if you're Shah Rukh Khan. Granted, I'm pretty sure because I think his wife and their production house Red produces most of their stuff. Sure, so they're it's, gonna get the back so end. Anyway. They get most of the back end anyway. But uh, yeah, he's the he's the exception. I feel not really the role. Although that's just recent, because five years ago, I don't think Zero was a big success. Yeah. So and it, it all, I mean, it might just be well, especially somebody like that. Shah Rukh Khan can afford to do a film for back end that has no back end. Yep. He he doesn't need to get paid again for the rest of his life. No. <laughs> he can work for free for the rest of his life and still have more money than he, his kids, and his grandkids yeah. are ever going to spend. And if the stars don't want to take less, don't hire pay new them. people. Yep. Audiences love newcomers. Yep. Um, we, I feel like there hasn't been, like, newcomers in the industry since, like, Ranveer came in or something well, like that. Well, where it's happening, and I saw, who was it that talked about this? I think it was Jordan Peele was talking about how one of the things he loves about OTT is that the reason so many stars are flocking over there and so many storytellers are flocking to those platforms here in Hollywood mm -hmm. is because Hollywood has fallen prey, especially the studios, to 
we're not going to green light a film unless we've got a big name attached to it. And it's a big IP. And it's a big IP. The, the OTT is the place where they're willing to experiment with no name actors, low budgets, and interesting storytelling because people are willing to watch that over there. And Gary Oldman's. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, Cranston's. just look at look at a ton of the things that have been doing really well. Like Baby Reindeer came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, it's a great example. I wish Johnny would do a series. Yeah, I do too. I wish, uh, I think Kate Blanchett, I want to see her series. There's a trailer just dropped for Kate Blanchett's new series Blanchett on Apple. Series. I, I am so excited I feel like Leo, for that. Leo should do a series. Yeah, he's never done anything but standalone film. He's the biggest movie. I mean, uh, yeah. In terms of like, yeah, actor, actor. Tom yeah. Cruise, obviously, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't but, do series either. Um, I anyway, like, I this was like a, this was really great. It's I always, expected it to it's be. It's always fun to listen to. Yep. Uh, I'd love to talk to all of them, including Zoya again. Again, I have uh, a question for her. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what you thought about it and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!